Good morning, sis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are we doing? Thanks for your feedback on the YouTube channel. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> the YubiTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> Thank you for all the feedback and the encouraging messages and uh, the helpful messages. Thank you so much. Thank Today you. is lesson 108 entitled to give and to receive oh. are one in truth. Okay. Yes. I just pressed the wrong button. Sorry. Sis. Are you still there? Oh, I oh, am. There. Oh, good. I thought I just <laughs> excommunicated myself from the studio. Oh. Uh, All right. Here we are. I've got to find the right button. Um, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Are we ready? Yep. Um, shall I read? Sure. Okay. Vision depends upon today's idea. The light is in it, for it reconciles all seeming opposites. And what is light except the resolution born of peace of all your conflicts and mistaken thoughts into one concept, which is wholly true? Even that one will disappear because the thought behind it will appear instead to take its place. And now we are at peace forever for the dream is over now. Mm -hmm. okay. So all of duality. You just collapsed time in that statement, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. To reconcile all seeming opposites all into one wholly true thought. And, and then even that through perception will be removed as knowledge dawns, right? And the piece that the dream is over. True light, which makes true vision possible is not the light the body's eyes behold. It is a state of mind, which has become so unified that darkness cannot be perceived at all. Mm. And thus, what is the same is seen as one, while what is not the same remains unnoticed, for it is not there. Mm. Can we just kind of like, unpack this? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I certainly did not understand this lesson. And I did the lessons for quite a few years um, in succession. Uh, and this lesson, I couldn't quite grasp, <laughs> as well as quite a few others, most of them, I think. And, and you know, it takes, it takes, it seems to take time to undo our previous uh, ego filter, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To be able to see the truth in these lessons, not just see them intellectually, but to allow them to drop in deeply into our experience, into our being, yeah? So this, what you've just read then, sis, mm -hmm. everything we seem to experience, sorry, everything we seem to see in our life, right, we see in the gap, That's generally right. speaking, you know, the gap diagram, which you have there, right? Yeah. Um, and it's all seen through the ego's filter, mm -hmm. And it's seen in darkness. Right. But because it's seen in darkness, guess what? What we're seeing is not there. That's right. It's literally not there. But it seems to feel so damn convincing. You know, the body senses feel it, uh, especially in conflict, in relationships or with our children, um, in, in the body, in physical pain, in the threat of sickness and God knows what else. Like it seems, it seems so real, right? But it's all seen through darkness and therefore in darkness. Yes. There's no light there until we flick the switch and we go to forgiveness and we go, okay, this is my priority now. Mm -hmm. This is my salvation. This is my function. Forgiveness right. is right, yeah. and then we're opening up to 
see in light. And, and, and then as we see in light, we're going to have and be given an understanding that comes from Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because what we're presently doing, and we all do it, we fall for it every day, you know, uh, is we're trying to see, we're trying to see the contents of the gap, mm -hmm. darkness, without the light of forgiveness. And that means without the light of Christ vision. And we're going to try and understand why we're going to try and understand why shit happens. We're going to try and analyze it. Yes. And we're never going to get anywhere with it. Not at all. Zilch, nada, nothing. Right. Until such time as we're willing to forgive. And it's in that forgiveness mm -hmm. and not understanding mm -hmm. that understanding comes. Right? right, because it brings in it yes. with it peace, and that peace is the peace of God, which is the light of understanding and Christ's vision. Did yes. you want to add anything to that, sis? Oh, so powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the kingdom of heaven is always right here at hand, ongoing. And so when we chose mythical me, the mind falls asleep. Part of the mind falls asleep and now it's in darkness. So it's trying to peer at the kingdom of heaven, but through the darkened shade. And I just wanted to add, Jesus is really, I uh, wish I knew where in the course, maybe you do, but he goes on about what that, I think of it as like the dark void and you're peering into it through body senses and you're seeing things that don't exist. And he says, you are seeing your brother as he has, ne she, he or she has never been. You are hearing things that have never been said. You are seeing the so-called impossible. It's the, the, the darkness is illogical. Mm -hmm. It's chaos. Mm -hmm. It's meaningless. Mm -hmm. It's incomprehensible. Mm -hmm. There's no, no truth in it at all. So we're in here peering in the dark and assigning definitions and trying to all agree that what's nothing means something, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, all these previous lessons are saying, while you made that election to be mythical me and try to see in darkness, there's a light still in your mind. That light is the presence of God within you or the Holy Spirit in your mind. And it's there and it's always waiting for the slightest invitation. So it's your willingness to forgive the void, forgive the one that's looking, saying, I don't know what this is for. I know it's not true and asking of the Holy Spirit. That's switching back. Now you're being guided by the one who has the light in your mind. That light can now shine. When light shines on darkness, the darkness doesn't have the ability to turn around and, and to argue and to resist, right? When the light floods the room, the darkness vanishes. So when you're looking with Holy Spirit, you will see what's actually there. You will see uh, healed perception, right? The happy dream, the real world, Right. Okay. So we are always giving in, in determining what teacher we're using, al allowing, am I, am I with the ego? Am I choosing the ego thought system that I'm sharing darkness, mm. but I can bring the light to any moment. If I, you know, through my loving intent to forgive it and join with Holy spirit to mm. extend light. Right. And as so I extend it, I get to see what's really there. Right. That's yeah. it. Yes. Yep. That's it. So, you know, to give and receive a one in truth, right? right. Um, so, two. If we're one mind, we're all joined. Yeah. Yes. Then to give means we're giving to ourselves. So, I mean, I know this is extremely simplified, but I had to be reminded of this thousands of times okay so if i am seeing if i am triggered by somebody else mm -hmm. um what is happening is that the, i'm seeing through my own filter of guilt i cannot i cannot possibly see another as wrong or guilty mm -hmm. right unless i'm seeing from my own guilt so i'm giving my guilt by blaming them that's what i'm trying to say Yes. I am I am giving away my guilt by blaming another. Right. And and what I give, I must receive. Mm -hmm. 
So I am receiving the condemnation that I give. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we give, we give to ourselves. It's all or nothing. We either give love or give forgiveness, which is love, mm -hmm. or we're giving our guilt, mm -hmm. which is attack. And, and we're receiving that as well. It's across the board. Right. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Thank that's you. such a big the big idea here is that there is one of us here because we are in truth mind not bodies and so recognizing as you treat another you treat yourself as you see your brother you see yourself because there's one here yeah okay thank you paragraph three this is the light let's see do i need to back up true light okay this is the light which shows oh. hmm? you did we read the second one? True light that makes true vision possible is not the light the body's eyes behold. Did you read that? Yes. You did. Okay. You did. Right. I um, love that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll continue from there. It is a state okay. of mind, right? Which has become so unified that darkness cannot be perceived at all. And thus what is the same is seen as one while what is not the same, I love this, remains unnoticed for it is not there. Yeah. Thank okay. you. This is the light, right? That undivided, unified mind. This is the light which shows no opposites. And vision, being healed, has power to heal. This is the light which brings your peace of mind to other minds to share it and be glad that they are one with you and with themselves. This is the light which heals because it brings single perception based upon one frame of reference from which one meaning comes. Right, so what's coming through in my mind on the heels of this, mm -hmm. is the Holy Spirit um, recognizes only two expressions of love. That's all that's ever happening here in the dream. Only, no matter, no matter what we seem to see, no matter how triggered we are, mm -hmm. right? Right. There's two, uh, expressions of love one is an expression of love that we that we appreciate and have gratitude for and we all recognize that mm -hmm. and the other one is a call for love that's right help and healing call for love so that's it mm -hmm. yes. that's it and when we when we when we agree to see everyone and everything including ourselves in within one of those two categories, which is two expressions of love and nothing else, mm -hmm. um, that is when miracles will occur regularly yeah. because we will have a single perception, right? Mm -hmm. You feel the same way, sis, with that? Oh, yes. When we are in our right mind, where when we are with the Holy Spirit, who is our right mind, that's it. There's not a mind that's looking upon images and trying to judge them and then figure it out and then solve them. All that we can know is the recognition of love or you recognize there is a call for love. And that's as far as it goes. Holy Spirit only recognizes those two. So therefore, in truth, that's all we recognize. And how beautiful even to recognize a call for love. When you're with Holy Spirit, you are that unlimited fountain of that inner um, that love, that inspiration, and Holy Spirit will show you exactly how to meet and answer that call for love. And then when you see the result of their call for love and their healing, the light in them shines back on you and it confirms in you that that is that you are love because you had it to give, to extend. So yeah. you and your brother are blessed by seeing the call for love and hey, <laughs> I supplied it because I am that love. Yeah, beautiful. That's unified perception, just love, right? You can breathe that in, can't you, huh? Yes, yeah. Nobody loses, it's all beautiful. And it's just, that's, that's all there is to do. Forgiveness is my function. Okay. Here are both giving and receiving seen as different aspects of one thought whose truth does not depend on which is seen as first, nor which appears to be in second place. Here, it is understood that both occur together, 
that the thought remains complete. And in this understanding is the base on which all opposites are reconciled because they are perceived from the same frame of reference which unified this thought. Mm -hmm. So again, as you see the call for love and you respond to it in your giving and in their healing, you recognize the oneness so that you have received. So as I gave, I received. Only as I extend do I get to keep. Yeah, beautiful. And because you and your brother are one, does it really matter which comes, who, who sees the call for love, who responds love? No, because the end result is that you both recognize that you are one in being. Mm. One thought completely unified will serve to unify all thought. Wow. Mm. This is the same as saying one correction will suffice for all correction or that to forgive one brother wholly is enough to bring salvation to all minds. For these are but some special cases of one law which holds for every kind of learning if it be directed by the one who knows the truth. Well, what a beautiful support quote for holy relationship here in the dream, mm -hmm. right? Because holy relationship eventually in an advanced one or a mature one comes to the point where there's complete, total forgiveness of a brother or sister. Yeah. And that has to transfer to all minds because all minds are one. Yeah. Right. That's right. So one, uh, there's no, that's why there's no private healing. That's why there's no private salvation. That's why there's no private accepting the atonement because there's just one mind. Okay. To learn that giving and receiving are the same has special usefulness because it can be tried so easily and seen as true. And when this special case has proved has proved it always works in every circumstance where it is tried, the thought behind it can be generalized to other areas of doubt and double vision. And from there, it will extend and finally arrive at the one thought which underlies them all. There he's referring to the thought of separation. Well, the one thought is God, right? The capital T. Right. So he's referring to the undoing of our thought of separation. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One problem, one solution. Yeah. Right. Today we practice with the special case of get with the special case of giving and receiving. We will use this simple lesson in the obvious because it has results you cannot miss. To give is to receive. Today, we will attempt to offer peace to everyone and note how quickly peace returns to us. Light is tranquility, and in that peace is vision given us and we can see. So we begin the practice periods with instruction for today and say, to give and to receive are one in truth. I will receive what I am giving now. Talk about, wow, really paying attention to what, what it is. What am I teaching? What am I extending? What, uh, what guide am I using? Because I'm going to get that right back. Mm -hmm. Then close your eyes and for five minutes, think of what you would hold out to everyone to have it yours. You might, for instance, say, to everyone, I offer quietness. To everyone, I offer peace of mind. To everyone, I offer gentleness. Say each line slowly and then pause a while, expecting to receive the gift you gave and it will come to you in the amount in which you gave it. You will find you have exact return for this is what you asked. It might be helpful too to think of one to whom to give your gifts. 
he represents the others and through him you give to all. Our very simple lesson for today will teach you much. Effect and cause will be far better understood from this time on and we will make much faster progress now. Think of the exercises for today as quick advances in your learning, made still faster and more sure each time you say, to give and to receive are one in truth. Beautiful. You know, sis, there's a blog that I think would support this. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's called Healing a Separate Sense of Self. Uh, it's well worth listening to or reading. It's got the audio. This is the audio link, and we'll put that in the um, on YouTube underneath this video where it says show more or the other thing is description. Yes, it's going to be there right at the top. Yes. Okay. Uh, and and there's a little exercise in at the conclusion of that blog. I think it's that one where it it takes you through. Um, looking to see or to expose the split mind, right? So in, in that asking you to look inward and see what it is that you presently prioritising more than peace, mm -hmm. more than forgiveness. And it's always good to do that exercise <laughs> frequently because it brings our mind into vertical alignment with oh okay because you can quickly see where the ego has compartmentalized certain things and said no 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 we don't forgive we don't forgive this thing over here or this thing behind no 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 yes right? and you can see it and go ah oh, oh, oh. um i'm on to your tricks ego we're not playing anymore we're not playing that game yeah oh, is there anything okay. else uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Lesson 108 to give and to receive are one in truth. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, sis.